this is Dr. Do again. This video continuously uh, from previous systemic approach of medicine. Uh, this series of video or the stream of video uh, laying out like uh, structure wise from the organic compounds associated diseases and also the um, cell, cellular level, move on to the tissue level and to the organ system level. So this is the connect to the structures uh, in a little detail to the individual clinical presentations or diseases. Um, I'm on the uh, cardiovascular system or circulatory system. When we talk about the cardiovascular system, by the way, it's just referring to the heart and blood vessels. When we talk about circulatory system, it's referring to the heart, blood vessels, and the blood itself, because that's, the, that's what is circulating. So anyway, I'm uh, still on cardiovascular system and then move on to the blood. So uh, previously I talked about the clinical presentations like dyspnea or chest pain associated with the cardiac cause. Today I'm talking about another uh, presentation of fatigue which is caused by the cardiac cause, uh, by the cardiac disease. Uh, so this is uh, probably it, the fatigue is one of the most common presentations. We all have those moments here or there due to lack of or sleep or due to um, uh, busy or, or, or due to uh, uh, too vigorous exercise etc etc these are the normal physiologically and can be recovered by yourself take an extra uh, resting time or just re use some relaxing techniques but there are a lot of pathological process can cause this fatigue I think if you follow my previous stream of video I mentioned but the cause of the fatigue could, could be from a very uh, anemia or chronic disease such as chronic liver disease, chronic uh, um, kidney disease, metabolic disease like fatigue caused by the overweight, obesity or diabetes or hyperlipidemia, any of those. And also could be caused by the, uh, the other conditions, a lot of conditions. But today, uh, or for example, the lung disease, or the muscular disease or neurological disease, there are a variety of causes because of this fatigue. But today I'm going to focus on the, the heart, the cardiac cause of the fatigue. Um, it, again, in terms of heart, many, um, a list of, a long list of heart disease can cause this fatigue. Uh, I just uh, name some, um, for example, arrhythmia, either uh, bradycardia or uh, or heart beat too fast, uh, pericardia, or or the infections, pericarditis, endocarditis, um, myocardiomyelitis, uh, and uh, cardiomyositis. So these are um, this is uh, the uh, the infection of the from the internal structure and the muscular structure and also the perostructure, pericarditis. And also the structure-wise, uh, either the valvular disease, either for young children from congenital uh, genetic cause or uh, from the birth of the, uh, any defect of the cardiac valve. And also structurally-wise, the, the cardiomyopathy increase the uh, hypertrophy of the, uh, the chamber and the walls. So this is another cause of a variety of structure. And also, uh, function-wise, arrhythmia, AFib, for example, and on top of that, coronary artery disease itself, because the heart undergoing hypoxia, hy hypoxemia itself, or hypoxia, because the coronary artery cannot provide enough oxygen for itself. So this is a variety of the causes of this um, um, uh, fatigue that is caused by the, um, the heart conditions. Then what are the fatigues that really need uh, to seek medical attention, even though it's not emergency? What kind of fatigue you need to, uh, you just think, oh, I can rest and uh, um, will recover? Or what kind of fatigue you think I have to, I have to see the physician? What are the, so this is uh, the purpose for this video, even though probably I, I missed some information, or but I just, uh, now, from now on, it's important. Like I said, if you're young, you're uh, healthy, healthy, no any medical conditions, I recently you feel fatigue. It's long-going fatigue. Uh, even though you sleep, 
uh, cannot uh, recover. Uh, and particularly if it's associated with the uh, heartbeat irregular. So that may indicate have some problems. Like I said, um, a lot of conditions, even after the viral infection, can cause this uh, cardiomyositis. So if that's the case, you need to see a physician to diagnose it, even though the treatment is just rest. But this rest, completely bed resting, is essential to to the fully recover. So if that's the case, you need to see a physician. And also, um, for if you're older people, um, uh, particularly for those older people with uh, chronic conditions, and uh, you feel your heart beat either regular or irregular, you probably need to see a physician to, to get it checked. Like uh, I said, chronic kidney disease causes long-term uh, potassium metabolism uh, abnormal or either hyper or hypo will cause this fatigue, not just only to the, uh, through the heart mechanism, also through the muscular um, itself. So this is another um, um, group of people. If you have fatigue, you need to see a physician. Or for the children, um, just like young people, for the young children without any diagnosed uh, cardiac conditions and also probably a couple of weeks earlier had the upper respiratory tract infection. And after that, even though no fever, no coughing, but still uh, feel like a sluggish, doesn't want to move, doesn't want to do the regular activity. And children do not say, I'm tired. Probably they will, sometimes they don't. But you can see, walk a couple steps and then try to stay sitting or, um, or lying down, if that's the case. Bring the child to the physician to check. Sometimes by the listening or by the image study or by the uh, cardio cardiogram, you can see whether there's some um, problem over there uh, to to diagnose it. So this is about the uh, the young children and the adult and older people, and for those who um, does not have any comorbidities, not uh, older people without any. Uh, known or diagnosed the conditions, but if you have this long-term fatigue, regardless um, whether you you sleep, try to catch up sleeps, try to uh, treat your depressions, or try try to uh, uh, to manage by yourself. But still, if this fatigue does not go away, you need to see your physician um, because even though it's not. Uh, cardiac cause, but still there might be something else cause this fatigue. Uh, even though I'm focusing on the cardiac cause for, uh, of fatigue, so this is uh, uh, beyond that sometimes for those, even though you have been healthy and recently developed this fatigue and cannot be treated, regardless, regardless what you do at home, then you really need to see a physician to check it to make sure there's nothing serious uh, going on. So this is about uh, this video fatigue uh, caused by the cardiac uh, uh, conditions. I think it's quite uh, very broad uh, and sometimes it's not that deep, but just a list of some conditions. Regardless, the take home message is if you have the fatigue for last for a couple of weeks, um, more than a month, and regardless what you do, take extra rest, uh, take extra nutrition if that's not getting better. See your physician. So I'm going to stop here and hope it helps. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.